This demo is on string handling functions. Functions in SQL. So for this, I'm going to use this table select staff from employee table I have. So I'm going to use the name column which is declared as a uh, character data type. So we're going to have some string functions on this on this uh, name column. First, we'll see how to print the name in uppercase. For that, we'll do select. We'll call this function upper of each column from employee. So this will convert the uh, name column, whatever values there in the name column to uppercase letters and display. Likewise, if I want to display everything in lower case, I have to just use select lower of name from employee. So this will convert everything to lower case and display it. There is uh, one more thing that will just make the first character of the string to be capital letters. Say if you have a word, the first character of that word alone will be capital letters. So that method is select INIT CFE. So this is the method and uh, for the name column from employee. So now you see the very first character has been converted to capital letters by this method. I just want to um, change my name. OK, uh, <laughs> let me update this name field to something else. Say update uh, employee set name is equal to. Uh, I'll just update it as uh, Satish Verma. Where what is the ID for this employee? ID is equal to 111. So let me try and update this. Uh, OK, that is uh, OK. The, the 10 characters. That is the issue here. So how to modify this to accept 20 characters? You have to go with alter table command. Alter table employee modify name to be of type parker 2 of 20. Let's accept larger names and now let's update uh, Satish as Satish Verma row updated. Now we do select staff from employee. Yeah, now if I perform INIT CAP, when I call that method, let's see what happens. Select INIT CAP of name from employee. Okay. So now you see for every word, the very first character is a capital letter. So that is the use of this uh, method, INITCAP. When you use that on a string, the very first uh, character of that uh, string will become caps. So that's about uh, these three uh, methods. The next method we are going to see is length. We all know how to find string length, right? So it's select. L E N G T H of the next uh, function that we are going to concentrate is on substring. Say what is substring? I can just uh, get part of the string. Select star from employee. Say I want to get the first three characters of this uh, name field, or else I want to get the first three characters of the name for this employee ID one one one. How can I do that? I will do select substring S U B S T R and then you give the column name and then the starting position. So I'll start with one. So it starts with yes and then how many characters I want to uh, substring or I want to slice off. I'll give three the number of characters from employee. We can say where ID is equal to triple one. So now you see SAT. I was able to slice SAT out of this name. So the string function is SUBSTR, the column name, starting uh, character. So it starts from one and then number of characters you want to extract. So it is three. So starting position and number of characters. And if I want to extract the first four characters of the name for all the employees, how will I perform that? Select name one comma four from employee. That's it. This will display the first four characters of the name for all the employees. So let's uh, do these two things and wind up select staff from employee. What is concatenation joining? Say I can join two columns and uh, display the result. Say select 
concat is the method name comma designation. So I'll concat these two columns from M table. So designation from employee invalid identifier. So describe employee. It's actually employee table. It's not imp. I should be concentrating more concat name comma designation uh, from employee table. So now it concatenates name Satish Verma with designation. So the designation and name. So it concatenates these two columns name and designation and displays it. So that is the use of concat method and the next method we are going to see is replace method. What is the use of replace? Let me do select a name from employee. So here I have this method as Satish Verma. Suppose I don't like Verma, I want to change it as Sharma. I can do that using replace method. Let's do that. Select replace and uh, you give the column name. What do you want to replace? I want to replace Verma. Uh, as Sharma. So uh, from which table? Employee table where ID is equal to for ID 111. I want to perform this replace. Let's see what's the output. You see Satish Verma was replaced as Sharma. So I have told uh, what I've written in the query is replace the column name name. Take whatever that is Verma replace that with Sharma. That is the new thing. So this is the old uh, part of the name that I want to replace. And this is the new name that I'm giving. So Satish Verma was replaced as Satish Sharma. But when you do a select star from employee, did the replace happen here? Oh God, he's still Satish Verma only. Why the replace didn't happen here? Because it's a select. Select will always select the data. It will not update the data. So here replace was just selected. So data was selected and it was replaced and shown to the user. If you want to permanently update Satish Verma to Satish Sharma, how will I do that? For that I have to do update employee set. What is that? Name is equal to. Now I will call replace method here. Replace again the name column. Uh, replace this Verma to someone called Sharma where uh, ID is equal to triple one. Now that replace happened on the table, the update happened when I do select star from employee, you can see uh, Satish Verma got replaced as Satish Sharma. For this, I have used the command replace. Not only for Verma and Sharma, if I don't like SAT of Satish, I want to replace that to MAT. I can very well perform that. Let me try. So name whatever that is SAT in Satish, just replace it to MAT. Yeah, now you go and do select a star from employee. You can see Satish got changed as Matish Sharma. So that's how you work with the SQL string functions.